Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to explain a movie called Open Season 2. Get comfortable. The movie tells the story of Boog, a domesticated grizzly bear who is now living in the woods away from his former human owner, Ranger Beth. Boog is happy with his new life, but soon learns that a traveling circus has come to the forest, putting his animal friends in danger. The movie begins on Elliot's wedding day, and he is excited about getting married to his gazelle. He gushes about it to his friends, Boog, Mr. Weenie, Serge, Denny, Buddy, and McSqueezy. He then begins to talk about his new antlers, which are huge. His friends say they are bored of hearing him speak about the antlers every time, but he denies it and continues talking about it. Afterward, he thanks his friends for staying with him, but they hurry him to the wedding. He tries to get down from where he stands when his antlers get stuck between a tree branch. Elliot forces it out, and it breaks. The shock makes him fall, and the antlers break further. When he gets up and looks at it, he screams. When she hears Elliot's screams, Giselle, Elliot's doe, is getting dressed. Rosie and Maria, her pigeon maids, believe that Giselle didn't hear his voice, but she thinks she did because she's in love. They dress her with a floral necklace and admire her beauty when Ian joins them. He reminds Gaselle that her wedding begins at 8 o'clock to finish at 9 o'clock. Ian also tells her that it's not too late if she wants to change her mind. Maria and Rosie support the idea because Ian is good looking, but Giselle assures them that Elliot is perfect for her. Meanwhile, Elliot is crying about his broken antlers, and his friends need a diversion to console him, so they begin a rabbit fight where they throw rabbits at each other. Mr. Weenie, the dog, attempts to throw rabbits at Boog, the bear, but Boog instructs him to sit and count while he gets away. Soon, he realizes that Boog tricked him and remembers when he used to live with humans. Mr. Weenie explains to Elliot that if his master instructed him to sit or fetch and he didn't, he'd be locked away. However, Mudflap, Weenie's owner, and Bob make a trail of bones for Weenie because they are trying to find him. When Elliot asks him how he ran away from his owners, he remembers his true identity. He encourages Elliot to be wild, and they both chase Boog. Weenie finds Boog and defeats him with many rabbits. All the friends gather after the game for another round, but Boog convinces them to go to the wedding. They all leave for the wedding, but Weenie is distracted by the trail of bones on the way. He fights the urge to eat them, but later gives in. Weenie eats the bones on the trail till he gets to the highway. For the ceremony, Ian is officiating and doesn't hesitate to try and convince Gas L to pick him. He mocks Elliot's antlers. It is time for them to vow. Giselle says her part, but Elliot is nervous, and he sees Weenie heading towards the road. Soon, a car passes, and Elliot thinks Weenie is hit, so he leaves the ceremony and runs after him. Elliot gets to the highway and sees Weenie on the last bone. He calls Weenie, but Weenie doesn't hear him. Mudflap sees Weenie and embraces him before putting him in her vehicle and driving off. Giselle and the wedding guests have gotten to the highway. Elliot explains that Weenie was kidnapped, so they volunteer to go after Weenie, except for Maria, Rosie, and Ian. Meanwhile, Mudflaps calls the caravan and informs them that they have found Weenie, but their vehicle is running out of gas, and they need to refill. Roberto eats dog treats in another caravan, and Fifi tells him to stop eating them because it's unhealthy. He stops and tells her he needs to poop. Fifi is mad because she told him it would be a long ride. She then throws up on her owner, who pulls over and takes the pets out to clean up. The other caravans behind her pull over, and their pets come out. Roger, a cat, greets Stanley that it's been a while, but Stanley explains that they meet every year at the Pet Paradiso camp. The rest of the pets gather around and talk about Weenie. They wonder how life would have been for him in the wild, and Fifi explains how terrible it was for her in the wild. She was playing with her owner and wanted to fetch her squeaky toy from the woods when she saw birds, bugs, and bunnies look at her sinisterly. In a bid to escape, she is electrocuted and gets a scar on her tail. While telling the story, she sniffs a bunny, runs to it, and threatens it, but her owner calls her to order. When Giselle meets Elliot, Weenie's friends are looking for him to know why he's been acting strange. 
Elliot denies it and says he's worried that if they don't find Weenie, they may not be able to return to the ceremony, but Giselle points them to a caravan across with Weenie in it. While Mudflaps and Bob fill their tank, the friends sneak into the caravan. Weenie is chained to the fridge, so they lubricate the collar and free Weenie, messing up the vehicle in the process. They all run out, and when Elliot runs out, he slams the door behind him, leaving Weenie stuck in the caravan and Buddy on the door. The caravan drives off, and Weenie's friends go after the van. Giselle suggests that Denny and Serge follow the caravan from the sky and lead the rest of them on foot. Elliot doesn't buy the idea and calls out Gaselle for wanting to control him even when they are not married. He tells her that her help is needed and she should go home. McSqueezy, on the other hand, says Elliot has been screwing things up and Boob convinces Giselle to stay. Elliot claims that Boob betrayed him and left them. McSqueezy tells him he's going the wrong way, but Elliot refuses and falls into a river. Mudflaps and Bob finally arrive at the campground. They wear an electric collar for Weenie and leave him with the other pets. Weenie and the other pets get along. Meanwhile, Denny and Serge have gotten Weenie's location and return to inform Boog, McSqueezy, and Gasell. Fifi promises to help Weenie overcome the horrors of living in the wild, but Weenie seems confused because he didn't face such. He tells Fifi that the animals in the wild are his friends, and everyone is surprised. When Denny and Serge arrive, Boog, Gasell, and McSqueezy are on the verge of collapsing. Denny faints, but Serge can gather the strength to disclose Weenie's location. When Boog hears about it, he's excited to get Weenie, but the rest tell him they are tired, so they all agree to spend the night in the woods and continue the following day. At the campground, Fifi is giving Weenie training on how to fetch. Roberto wants to pass Fifi's squeaky toy to him, but fetches Buddy instead. Buddy and Weenie escape, and before they leave the camp, Weenie takes off his collar and tosses it at Fifi, who gets electrocuted. Mudflaps and Bob hear noises from the pet tent and realize Weenie is gone. Mudflaps is devastated and tells Bob to take her home. However, the other adults are seated around a fire when Boog scares them off then Weenie's friends eat what's left in the tent. Denny, Serge, and McSqueezy are knocked out while Boog and Giselle talk. Giselle tries to make Boog talk about Elliot's character, but Boog only tries to convince her that they are better together. She claims she's glad that they called the wedding off. On the other hand, Elliot feels miserable for all the things that get said to Gasell and Wales. The following day, the pets leave the campgrounds with their masters to pet Paradiso, and Weenie's friends continue searching. There's no sign of Weenie in the camp, so they head to pet Paradiso. When they arrive at Pet Paradiso, they see the restrictions against wild animals, so Giselle and McSqueezy disguise as dogs to look for Weenie, Denny, and Serge monitor from the sky, and Boob waits for them outside. Buddy and Weenie find Elliot and tell him their other friends are in trouble at Pet Paradiso if the other pets figure out they are wild animals. Elliot agrees to help them, but falls into a river. At Pet Paradiso, Giselle and McSqueezy look for Weenie when Fifi apprehends them and other domestic animals tie them up under a water slide. Denny and Serge meet Boog, but Boog finds Weenie, Elliot, and Buddy. Together, they disguise themselves as pets with makeup and enter Pet Paradiso. When they get in, they separate. Boog is on his own, while Weenie is with Elliot. Weenie sees all the goodies and is distracted, but Elliot gears Giselle's voice and goes after her. When he finds her, he wants to fight off Fifi and the others, but he ends up getting tied, and Fifi uses the electric collars on all of them. Elliot tells Giselle he's not perfect, but they are better together. Giselle doesn't seem convinced because he left her on the altar. When they hear this, all the domestic animals with Fifi call Elliot a coward. However, Boog falls into a pool, and the makeup washes off, so security agents chase him. He grabs Weenie and slides on a water slide, where he captures the rest of his friends. Elliot helps them remove their collar and runs to rescue Weenie, who got attacked while trying to steal the remote from Fifi. Elliot removes the collars on him and places them on Fifi, but Fifi isn't aware of this, so he is electrocuted when he presses the remote. Elliot and the rest leave Paradiso, but Weenie reunites with Mudflaps. 
They are about to leave when Elliot admits he always wants to be close to Giselle. So they return to the ceremony, exchange vows, and get married. Elliot begins to sing for Giselle, and everyone joins him. However, when he's on the song's last line, he falls and breaks the rest of his antlers. That was all from the movie. Thank you for watching and being part of our family.